Today is a day that I will remember forever. I feel like I've wanted one of these KitchenAid mixers for so freaking long. And during this quarantine, I've been doing a lot of online shopping and watching a lot of like YouTube videos and I'm just really intrigued by baking and stuff. I always said I wanted to get one for my wedding registry, but I just thought to myself like, why wait that long? So I wanted to get one for myself. This is the white on white tilt head. So I'm gonna be unboxing it and we're gonna use it today for the first time ever. So my boyfriend's gonna come help me get it out of the box. But the first thing I'm unboxing is the lid. <coughs> he's here and he's perfect. It's bigger than I thought. I know, it is a lot bigger. <sighs> okay, so we got off the mixer. It is beautiful. I got a white on white tilt head. So let's see this in action. Oh, beautiful. I have heard that the tilt head doesn't really tilt all the way back because especially when you have like a, an attachment on, sometimes you just want it to like go back a little farther. But there are a couple of the attachments that come with the KitchenAid mixer. So, so we have this one, um, the whisk, and the dough hook right here. I kind of wish they sold the bowl separately because if it was up to me, I would have definitely gotten the clear bowl, but hopefully that's something I can purchase in the future. Um, they actually gave me a 25% off discount code for like my first attachment. There are like pasta makers, ice cream makers, uh, electric juicer, and I guess it just goes right here. So you take this thing off and it somehow does that whole thing, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm not sure many people know this about me, but when I was in high school, I worked at a pie shop for about like two-ish years. It was literally the most fun job. We made derby pie, we made like pecan, I made like the tallest apple pie. We actually hand mixed a lot of the fillings. So the only pies we used with the KitchenAid mixer trying to think if I remember. I think it was like key lime pie, um, whipped cream for like the banana cream pies. I don't know, I can't really remember, but we didn't use the mixers that often. The KitchenAid mixer that we had at the pie shop was the bowl that lifts up instead of the head tilting back. Um, and honestly, I feel like I was just so weak, I could never really like lift it up easily. So that's why I went ahead and got the Tilt head one, plus it is a little bit more affordable. You guys may be wondering what I'm gonna make for my first time using the KitchenAid, and I decided we are gonna make cinnamon rolls. I've never made homemade cinnamon rolls, and I feel like it would be the perfect thing to do because I got the dough hook, and then I can make like the cream frosting with this one. I'll link the recipe down below. I found it on Pinterest, and it is from the site Let's Dish Recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of these supplies that I'll be using, and and we can get started. I just plugged the mixer in and I started getting all my ingredients together. The first thing it says to do is to heat the milk in a saucepan, which I already did. Oh, it says with the dough hook. Cool. All right, we're just gonna hook this on. All right, pouring in the milk. First time turning on the mixer. Wow. So anticlimactic. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, no, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I feel like the butter's just gonna stick to it. Okay, I think I'm gonna tilt it back and then add the butter. Let's do that. Then half a cup of sugar, then a teaspoon of salt. For the next step, you have to wait till the mixture is just warm and not too hot. I think it definitely cooled down a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs, then one tablespoon of yeast. Now I'm gonna add about five or six cups of flour. The recipe said that it should be pulling away from the sides, but it should still be sticky. I feel like it's a little too sticky, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more flour. So now I'm gonna take the attachment off. All right, so now I'm just gonna transfer all of this dough into a lightly greased bowl. And unfortunately, we do have to wait like an hour to let the dough set. And then we can go ahead and do the fun part. 
I'm gonna cover this up and put it in the fridge for one hour. I just took the dough out of the fridge and now it is time to roll it out. Now I'm just spreading out half a cup of softened butter. In this bowl, I mixed a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a cup of packed brown sugar. So now it is time to sprinkle this and spread it out. I'm just gonna go over this with my rolling pin just to press it in a little bit more. So now we're gonna try to roll this up as tightly as possible. I'm just gonna guesstimate how big the roll should be. Unfortunately, I don't have parchment paper, so I just greased my pan. All right, guys, I just took them out of the oven and they look amazing. Like, wow, I'm shook. So now we are gonna go ahead and make the icing. And we're gonna also do that in my KitchenAid mixer. For the icing, we're gonna start with four ounces of softened cream cheese. And then I just added some softened butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna add two cups of powdered sugar. Next, we're adding one tablespoon of maple syrup. We're gonna do a pinch of salt. Then we're gonna start with a tablespoon of milk and then add in as needed. All right, so this is our frosting. It is pretty thick, but I'm thinking it's gonna melt down into the perfect consistency. Okay. Love it. Stunning. Truly. <laughs> what are your honest thoughts? It's good. It's really sweet. It looks good for your so many. I like it. Thanks. We just had our breakfast, it was so good. I made bacon too, so that was the perfect combination. I think the only thing I would have changed about this recipe is not putting in the cream cheese with the icing because I like the normal icing with the store-bought cinnamon rolls. So I'll definitely leave the cream cheese out the next time, but I guess it's just what you like. A lot of people do like cream cheese icing, but I feel like it just tasted more like a cupcake-y icing, if that makes sense. But the dough was perfect. I think I cooked it for about 19 minutes and it was not overcooked or undercooked. So I'm really proud about that because I feel like whenever I'm baking I tend to undercook things because I don't want them to like be so dry so I was very proud about that dough and I feel like the dough hook is just such a fun attachment I definitely want to make more breads and just doughs in general if y'all have a KitchenAid mixer let me know what recipes are your favorite to make with this thing I definitely want to save up for a lot of the attachments but I definitely need help deciding which ones to get because I don't want to get anything that I won't actually use like the pasta maker it'd be great to have it it'd be really really cool to use it, but realistically, I'd probably go for the box pasta, but I'm definitely eyeing like the citrus juicer and the uh, ice cream maker. I think that'd be so fun. But again, like I don't think I'll actually use that as often as I would like. Also, if you have a KitchenAid mixer or are thinking of getting one, let me know what color you guys have. I just went with the white on white because 
I didn't know if I would get too tired of the color and I didn't want to make that big decision and like have a colored KitchenAid mixer in my kitchen for like forever. Um, unfortunately, we do not have any space on the counter for it to live um, in our apartment. But I know when we get to a house, I'll definitely make sure there's room for this thing. That wraps up this video. If you wanna see more cooking videos from me, let me know and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.